Hi everyone, it's Danny. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a flip through of my 2018 December Daily Traveler's Notebook. I actually did start this in 2018, but I realized very quickly that trying to scrap that year's December as it was happening was just too difficult for me. I like to use professionally printed photos in these because I don't use page protectors and I just find that the ones that are printed by a proper photo lab just hold up way better. So what I like to do is scrap the previous year. I take notes as the December is happening so I remember what's happened and what I want to journal about. So the following Christmas season when I'm starting to feel Christmassy I will print all my photos out and have them all ready and I can have a better idea of where they're going to go on the album and what I want to scrap. And it just takes the pressure off a little bit and I can scrap a few days at a time if I feel like it rather than every day. So this is my finished 2018. I'm ready to move on to 2019 now at the end of 2020. I hope that's not too confusing, but I'm really pleased that I managed to get this done nice and early. It is September while I'm filming this. I won't be uploading it until later in the year just because it's a little bit early for me to be uploading Christmas content, but I wanted to film it now before I pop this album away. So this is a standard size Webster's Pages Traveler's Notebook. It's a suede cover. It's in a really pretty kind of raspberry pinky red. It's very chunky. <laughs> Um, it's it's packed and it is even fatter when the string isn't closed but the closure helps keep it somewhat compact um, there are three very fat uh, inserts this first one is way too chunky I learned pretty quickly that I needed to take some pages out this was my first real December daily attempt and it's not completely cohesive uh, theme wise there's a lot of hodgepodge of stuff in here. I didn't buy anything new for it. It was all stuff I already had in my stash and I used up a lot of leftovers. It would probably annoy some people that it's not kind of all themed and matching, but um, I think for first attempt, it was, it's pretty good. I'm really happy with it. I experimented a lot and learned a lot of lessons and that will really help me going forward. So uh, to begin with, I have this little spine decoration. This is a wooden ornament. My, the glare from my window is making it really hard to see. There you go. But it's a wooden ornament with a white snowflake embossed on it. This was a pack of five or six from Spotlight for a few dollars. I just put some red and white twine on it. And these little bells I got on a gift. They've got a little uh, toggle on the back so I just push them through the elastic hole and they just hang out there. And I love the fact that this album jingles every time you pick it up so it's super festive. Okay so opening it up you can see it, it springs open, it gets even fatter, <laughs> it's, it's pretty stuffed. Okay so this is my not so much first page, but uh, the inside of the uh, Traveler's Notebook. So I think these are meant to be used as planners. A lot of people use them for memory keeping. I like these pockets that you can just tuck in ephemera and bits and pieces. So I've done a few journaling cards. So this one I just tucked in so that you can see the friends and family. I really love this kind of color scheme and it goes nicely with my planner. So I did try to use this bright raspberry red. I used a lot of mint and this kind of light blue. I did use quite a bit of this kind of blush pink. I did use a mixture of gold and silver and rose gold. <laughs> it's probably gonna drive some people crazy, but I really don't mind. There's another journal cut in there. It's warm wishes and it has a little uh, sweater, but I've just kind of got that tucked so you can't see the sweater because it is summer <laughs> here at Christmas time. Sparkly bow and a little ribbon. And then this card is my uh, reasons why. So it just says joy to the world. I love the colors, pale blue. And then on the reverse, I have the reason. So this was hand lettered using some brush pens and I kind of did like an ombre effect. So I have a little person on my lap now um, in case you hear some noises or see some extra hands. <laughs> um, so basically I've just written that um, my reason is for recording all those small precious moments for my kids to remember mm. and look back on. So I'm not going to go too much into detail for that. Just tuck that back in there. I just want it so that you can see it peeking out and you know it's there. Mm -hmm. Okay, this first kind of page is a, it's one of the pocket dashboards I used to make for my Etsy shop. Um, so it's just like a laminated pocket that inserts underneath the strings. So the first page mm -hmm. I have here and then the other one is at the back of this um, booklet. Mm -hmm. So I've just taped the top shot. I was going to sew it, but I couldn't be bothered pulling my machine out at the time. And so I just used some washi tape. I filled it full of confetti, all different metallic stars, some little round ones, some Christmas trees, some snowflakes. I popped a Hello December sticker on there mm. and then I just stitched around it just to try and kind of um, stop all the confetti from falling straight to the bottom. So that did help a little bit. 
and then on the reverse I just have the same size sticker that says in the air there's a feeling of Christmas and this is kind of like my opening page so it just says our family Christmas um, in hand lettering which it got a bit mm. wet and a bit smudged so I'm not too worried so I just put some die cut gold glitter letters for the numbers here and this is a journal card that I've just washi taped onto the cover of the notebook. This is a notebook I got from the Traveler's Notebook Online. It's really nice, thick, really white paper, really nice for uh, scrapping in. And this is the cover that came with it. So I just went with that pattern. Our first page, this is actually on the 23rd of November. Um, I wanted to include it because it was our family Christmas card. We used a photo of the kids sitting on Santa's lap, which is what I think we do pretty much every year. So I've just cut my Christmas card up. So this is all parts of the Christmas card. So this was the front. So I just cut it in half so it would fit on the page and use the, the pattern to kind of embellish the rest of the page. My journaling, a sketchy border. So that is another thing I've tried to bring in to kind of keep the album cohesive. I use that quite a lot throughout the album. This page um, really doesn't go with the rest of the album at all color wise, but the photos had a lot of blue in them. So I just wanted to make sure that the whole layout you know, made sense color wise. So like I said, it is summer here at Christmas, but the local shopping center had this kind of like snow play area set up with fake snow. So I've journaled about that. I've used some left leftover bits and pieces from other Christmas collections. This little bit of vellum that I have printed at home and I just popped that in with some washi tape, some more journaling. I put a little note that you need to pull this tag up because I had some extra photos I wanted to include. So I've just done a double-sided tag. And that sits in there nicely and I've used quite a bit of this uh, red and white baker's twine throughout so that's another mm. element I've tried to carry on throughout the album. This is a really simple page just documenting my kids new Christmas pajamas. I've done a bit of journaling. I've tried to do journaling throughout where I could um, where it made sense even if it was just a few lines. So again just using up scraps of paper that I have left over. Just popped in some stickers. I used quite a lot of stickers off um, some sh sticker sheets I was trying to use up. So I'm really pleased with that. Um, so this is the actual actual first day of December, uh, that far in. <laughs> so that explains why this album is so chunky. This was a water play day, my son's daycare organized. So uh, lots of white space. Again, just using up some bits and pieces. I have used this cut apart sheet from Echo Park for most of my numbers. And I've used one from Cards Craft as well. So I've kind of interchanged those two so that the numbers are mostly cohesive. Again, we've got another little tag with journaling here um, that I added with some vellum. Really cute Christmas tree and again some more of that twine. Next page is again the first. <laughs> so quite a few days have two memories but I have a lot of days that don't have anything so sometimes there will be doubles up and sometimes there are missing ones. Not too worried about that kind of thing. <laughs> so this day was the day we picked up our Christmas tree so this is um, my son at Bunnings posing with this giant reindeer. Had to include that of course. He used up some more uh, extra bits and pieces. I love this little tree on the car. Um, this is that other cut apart sheet with the numbers so I've tried to carry that throughout. I made a little Christmas tree out of like fringed paper. Some of these are just strips and some are fringed. More scraps. Uh, I've used quite a lot of these clear gold stickers throughout my album. So that's another cohesive element. And this is a flip page that I've just added with some uh, strips of washi on either side. So this is the inside. This is us potting our tree. We just got a little live juniper tree for this year because my daughter um, was definitely playing with... <laughs> she was very little and she was playing with... Um, breakable things and she just would have pulled a tree down so we just got a little potted one and put it up on a, a table so he was very very happy very excited <laughs> and then I've done a nice chunk of journaling just there some more pattern paper this is a page about us decorating our living room so I've just put deck the halls it makes sense <laughs> I've done another little pocket out of vellum I'm not super happy with this because you can see the adhesive and the tag does tend to get stuck at the base here but I'm not going to change it I'm just going to leave it and sort of learn from that and move on so just some journaling on the cards more of that striped red ribbon nothing on the back I should probably add something on the back added some of these pink glitter hearts I did actually intend to carry this throughout the album as well but I just that fell by the wayside this is a four by six just kind of composite collage photo of all our individual decorations and this is a photo of our my piano and our coffee table and this is our little potted tree in the corner <laughs> in a basket so it was really cute um, we only did that for one year okay the next page is number three so this was about our wishes to Santa so I made a little envelope and I've tucked in 
this kind of postcard die cut that I put some journaling on the back and then I've also tucked in some cutouts from um, junk mail that my son had kind of circled the things he wanted um, all Lego of course so I've just kept those as memorabilia I'll probably go through and laminate these at some point so that they last but um, at the moment I'm just leaving them so it's day four this is just me and my daughter having a cuddle I think she was really tired and cranky this day but wouldn't go to sleep so she was a bit miserable um, so I just popped in this little journal card kind of cut apart thing that I thought was appropriate. So it just says, Christmas waves a magic wand over this world and behold, everything is softer and more beautiful. So she's definitely very soft and cuddly and beautiful. So I just thought that was really appropriate. I popped in some of this pom-pom trim as well. I repeat that um, further back in the album. So I really love this the texture of it. It's so fun. I love including um, textural sensory bits and pieces in these traveler's notebooks because they're very touchy feely. <laughs> okay, day five, my son got a haircut. This is a really simple page. I was kind of losing my mojo at this point. So I was just trying to get uh, things documented. And I was also getting frustrated with my booklet here because it was getting really fat and I was having trouble getting my papers to fit into the spine. So you'll see that at the start of the album, my papers go all the way to the edge and well, I try to tuck them right to the, into the spine, but as the booklet gets fatter, it gets harder and harder to do. So as it gets further into the album, I will change that. Pretty much just a number and a title and a photo mat. This page I got my nails done for Christmas. I don't do that anymore, unfortunately, but I was still getting my nails done at this point. So I documented that. Some more hand lettering, just some Poinsettia stickers, some more of that sketchy detail. This was day eight. I really wanted to use a full page photo for this one. So this is me and my daughter just having a kind of uh, tickle cuddle on a day that my husband was at work and my son was at school. So uh, I printed this large and I've just added a little sticker border to the top and the bottom. Some journaling and some smaller photos of her just pulling super cute faces. Some more of those gold clear stickers. Okay, day nine, this was all about my son because the previous day was all about my daughter. So this was just us. I think we were just hanging out in the front yard doing a yard, yeah, so watering the plants and uh, laughing. So we were just doing some yard work. I really love this craft. I love this page. I don't know why it's really simple, but, and a lot of white space. So maybe that's why I like it, but I really like the craft and the white and some more of those gold stickers, some washi. I really like this little um, teeny tiny bow washi popped in a banner and yeah, really simple more sketchy border another really simple page this was just us going shopping with my nana so um, she spoiled him to death she paid for quite a few of these you know the supermarket rides that sadly are not a thing anymore thanks to COVID but um this year they were so he went on quite a few so she she just pops coin after coin in there um she spoils him rotten so I just did some more sketchy border. This is just a uh, more pattern paper. Some of those just cute stickers off that sticker sheet that I'm trying to use up. Some of these gold hearts, really simple. And that's the end of that one. Now this is the back page of that shaker pocket in the front. So I've just added some of these gift tags from Target. They're the same size, they're just a uh, slightly different pattern. So I've glued two of those back to back, popped some ribbon on there and just stapled that at the top of the page with my tiny attacher. And I've also popped in a little staple on the side here so that it doesn't move around too much. Same, just echoing those stickers. So I've done two on that side and then two on the other side that are the same size. So you don't see kind of white back. This is the start of the next booklet. I've just added a little page turn here. This is actually just an empty uh, blank space. <laughs> I don't know why I did this, but I think I was intending to add something for this day and I just didn't have anything. So I've just added, um, this is actually a greeting card. I bought a pack of greeting cards um, that I've used quite a bit actually in the rest of the album. So that's cut down some washi, some pattern paper and another journal card with some more of that sketchy border. And I put in some hand lettered sketchy stars and bits and pieces here, some more stickers and just some strips of those pattern papers. This page, I actually, I thought I'd finished my album and then I flipped through and found a blank page. <laughs> uh, but luckily I had taken notes about what was supposed to go every day. So day 11 was for our Christmas ornament that my Nana buys us every year. Each year we choose one and she um, buys it for us. So this is for that page. I've just left a photo mat here so I can glue it on because I didn't actually take the photo. And that's why I didn't do the page. So all my Christmas stuff is still packed away. I'll have to take a photo of this particular ornament when I pull all that out and put it in. This page was obviously all about our um, Christmas books. These are some of our favorites and some new ones. I'm pretty sure these two 
or these two were new and these two were older. But Christmas books and Christmas stories are really important to me. It's a really special tradition for my family. We all love books and reading and I buy them a new Christmas book at least one every year and I make a point to sit down with them and read them. The next page is me going to, well, my whole family actually, <laughs> going to visit my friend and her new little bub. So I actually did a kind of a grid layout behind. So this whole page is grid layout and then just four up here and my number. I'm journaling down the side again, some more of that sketchy border. Really special day. This day was our Christmas, uh, call it the Christmas parade, but it was Christmas Wonderland. This is the year my city stopped doing the parade, which I'm really sad about. Uh, but they did like a, a gardens, like a winter wonderland thing in the local botanical garden. So um, this was still really fun. So I've just got a photo of my husband and my son and my son being really excited. <laughs> some journaling and me and my daughter waiting in line for it to open and using up some more of those stickers. Some more of that sketchy border and those gold clear stickers. And this is obviously the same day, it's just when we went into the garden. So I've used that Echo Park number and then the Kaiser Craft number. So that's why I had two sheets of those numbers, um, really came in handy. So this is a photo of one of the areas of the park that was decorated. I'm trying to get a shot of this not reflecting from my light, sorry. Um, but I've just done some torn paper. I've added one of the clear stickers on top of the photo there and I love how that looks and I will do that a few more times in the album. Really love that. And then I've done a little twine like light string up here. I, had, I knew I had just enough of these ornament stickers left to do something like this. So I was just trying to find a spot in the album where I could pop this in and this was perfect done a little bit of a border sticker down here and this guy was actually like a living statue dressed up as Frosty and <laughs> he was doing the whole waiting for the kids to come up to him and then jumping at them and scaring them and Corrin just he all the other kids were terrified but Corrin it just thought it was amazing he was laughing his head off he just loved it so <laughs> you can just see how happy he is in that photo oh I love this is why I love December dailies looking back on memories like this okay so I just have to cover up these photos because I have friends in them that don't like to be on social media and I respect their privacy so I'm not going to show you the photos but it was just us we're just lined up outside a play place with our friends and their children and so this is the three kids together and this is the four adults and Violet. I'm holding her. You can see her little foot there. <laughs> um, just posing for a group photo and um, one of the older kids actually took this one of us adults and it turned out really well. So I really like this page as well. I think I'm, I'm learning that I like white space so maybe I should do that more in the next album. But this craft too. So I definitely have to include some craft because I'm really loving this. Every page that has a craft on it I love. So I've done some border sticker up behind here. That was some leftovers. I've tried to echo this kind of number with some more circular elements. So I've used up a lot of these circular stickers which I really like. That sketchy border again. This tree was actually cut out of a Christmas card that I got last year. So if I get Christmas cards that have elements on this that I think I could use as ephemera, I keep them and then I, yeah, first I cut them and try to incorporate them. So that was really fun. I really liked it, like it. And I know that that came from a Christmas card. So it kind of feels more personal. Again, some handwritten journaling. I do quite a bit of handwritten journaling in this album. I think most of it is handwritten actually. This page is um, besties, baby chinos and bunnings. So <laughs> me and my best friend taking our kids out for coffees and they have obviously little baby chinos, cutest thing in the world. And I had been saving this particular sticker for this on purpose. Um, it's a little Santa like hot chocolate. Really love this one. I really love the combination of this bright red and this kind of minty green color. I just love it. And this is super cute. This was at Bunnings. Um, we take them there just to have a wander around and then they go on the playground. This day they had these Bunnings bears with the little faces cut out. So of course we had to get a photo that's super sweet. Day 19 was all about my wrapping paper that I chose for this year. Very neutral as you can see. So I just took a nice close-up photo of the rolls. I think I saw maybe it was Ali Edwards. It was either her or someone on her design team. She took a photo of like very similar to this for her wrapping paper and I just totally stole that idea. I really liked how it looked. So I did some more of that Christmas tree border. These were actually cut out of, I believe, the same cut apart sheet as my Kaiser Craft numbers. So, same sheet that these numbers came off, I'm pretty sure. Some of these squares were present, so I was saving those for this layout. This page 20, I'm really proud of. This was at Harvey Norman. They had this chair set out for Santa, you know, for the Santa photos, but this day it was empty, so I just sent Corin over to sit in it and we took a photo. And it was a beautiful backdrop with the Christmas trees lit up and the big white chair, so I really love how that turned out. And I've used the cut file from Confessions of a Paper Addict. It was the Christmas trees. 
I think it was a traveler's notebook uh, cut file, but I've just backed all of it except for these two trees, which I've backed with acetate. So on the back, I've made sure that the parts that would be seen through the little windows were white because I really want to see that gold star uh, effect on the acetate through the paper. But then when you turn it over, you can still see the gold acetate um, because I haven't covered it up. And I've fussy cut all these little trees off. Oh, I think it is. Which tree paper? Yep, off this paper from this flip out. So that's another element that sort of carried out, carried from the front of the album further to the back. So I fussy cut all those out and glued them on just kind of like as a scene. And then I popped this little journal card in that says believe. So it took a bit of a bit of trial and error to position these all so that where these trees were going to sit was white and empty but yeah it looks really good and then from this side they just look like they're part of the scene i'm really proud of myself <laughs> i know it's really simple but i'm really really happy with how that turned out now this um is just the covers of the notebook so i was thinking about maybe popping some kind of vellum around this notebook just to have an extra something but it's already so chunky i'm just i'm leaving it for now i might come back to it so these covers i made myself too by the way so the cover of this notebook is just the inside is white as you can see and this one is uh black yeah some so that's what the inside looks like but i added some extra white splatters i think it's just acrylic paint and i can feel the texture so i definitely added those this is just a journal card from a cut apart sheet with two layers of pattern paper trying to use up some of those and this is me and my hubby at my in-laws so we go up there every year i'm not always on christmas but around christmas time to visit them and take the kids up it's always a really nice time so my day day 21 documenting the days so it's another journal card some more of that handwritten journaling some more sketchy hearts and sketchy border this page is definitely, it doesn't really match the rest of the album, but it's pretty neutral and I, I'm happy with it. I really like how it turned out and it makes sense with the photos. So they're in a little paddling pool, both my kids and playing with the water. It was really hot. Um, they had a really nice time in the pool. I've just done like a sandy colored pattern paper in the background. This cut file is from Spiegel Mum Scraps, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it was designed by Virginia from Confessions of a Paper Addict while she was on the design team for Spiegel Mum Scraps. Um, but I'm pretty sure this was a free cut file from that website. It's like a summery um, heart. It's very much Virginia's style, so I'm sure she designed it. But I just backed that in various colors. And I've actually done these little uh, sunnies in like gold foil. Can you see? Can you see that? Yeah, there we go. So I'm really, <laughs> I know, really simple, but I'm really happy with that. And this is, uh, I'm not sure whether this is part of this cut file, but it, it is a cut file that I did an offset on so that it cut out once in the white and then uh, slightly larger in the blue. So you can start to see this is where I've learned not to go all the way to the edge with my pattern paper. So I've just kind of left a border and same here. So I've just left a white border and not gone all the way to the edge so that when the album does start to get bulky, it won't push up these papers. Here's another one of those reading cards from this pack. So that's another one. I love these cards with the Christmas tree on them. I don't know why. I just, I really love that. I love it so much. And obviously because I've put another one down here, uh, but I've done that because this was a page about my father-in-law's hot rod. So my little man and my father-in-law were going for a little drive. So I've added some red puffy stickers on this page too. Um, I just really, I really wanted some more red. I try not to add too many dimensional embellishments in this album for obvious reasons. So I think this is pretty much the only puffy I bring in. Um, it was just a perfect red color for this page. Um, I've added another tag in here too, that it's just a gift tag. It's cute and craft. I'm not sure why there's no journaling on the back. I think I just wanted some more trim poking out the top of my album. <laughs> So I have some more of the ribbon that I have attached here. It's more of that green ribbon. There's some more of that red and white Vegas twine. Um, yeah, so <laughs> it's cute. It doesn't always have to be a reason apart from decoration. This page was our baking cookies day. So this is always a really favorite tradition of mine. I get everyone in the family to choose a cookie that they want to have baked. And then I will <laughs> curate that list. <laughs> I always do quite a few varieties. It's just one of my favorite things to do. So I have my title down here. I used up a lot of these ephemera that I have, I think mostly Rosie Studio that are all kind of baking related that I don't use very much because I don't really do baking spreads apart from at Christmas time. So I've tried to use up a bunch of those. I did a nice big photo. I've added this tag at the top. It doesn't have any uh, ribbon or trim or anything because I already have, I already have quite a bit going on. So I don't know why I did that there instead of here. But anyway, I just put a gold uh, hole reinforcer on 
and this tag is made from a journal card that has a little reindeer muffin on the front so I thought that was perfect for this layout even though you can't see it it's kind of cute little surprise when you pull it out and the reverse was just a blank white bauble shape and I have stamped on these lines and added these little snowflake stickers and just written basically a list of the varieties of cookies I made so we had we had jam drops, we had all white chocolate with sprinkles, we had uh, mini Smarties, we had gingerbread, and we I made some Rocky Road for my husband, which isn't really a cookie, but um, it was made at the same time. Close enough, right? Christmas baking. I've used quite a bit of this gold glitter washi, some cute little gold foiled reindeer washi. Day 23. Day 24, I actually have two pages for this. So this is the first page. It's starting to get difficult to show you. It's quite chunky. So I was starting to run out of pattern paper pretty badly <laughs> by this point. So I just left both of these uh, backgrounds plain. I've done some gold Kaiser Mist mixed media on the background of that one. I number another one of the uh, greeting cards from that pack. I really love the craft. And this little sprig here, it's got Merry Christmas in white glitter. This little boat is from Confessions of a Paper Addict. I'm pretty sure it's from the Snow Globe cut file. Um, so I had that cut out and I've just backed it with some tartan pattern papers. I've also added some more of that uh, washi on the bottom here. And it's actually, it comes on a, um, it's one of those washies with the removable backing. So I just have left the backing on and cut some tails so it looks like a ribbon. And I've also put in some of that red and white baker's twine and some of that gold um, embroidery thread. And I've just stapled those on so they don't go anywhere. Um, so it's all kind of dimensional, it's not stuck down. And this page is mostly taken up by this giant photo. I've added some gold foil washi and some handwritten journaling. And I've just popped in a couple of scraps of journal cards that I had um, from those pattern papers behind. And I popped in some of those gold clear stickers. So this says Christmas Eve and then some little hearts up here on my photo. I love this page. <laughs> This page I'm really proud of. Another Confessions of a Paper Addict cut files. Uh, cut file? It was just the uh, Christmas tree. So what I've done with this is I've backed the star in gold glitter and then I've backed the whole tree just in one piece of the, uh, it's from Kaisercraft Mint Wishes. It's kind of like a pine tree design, which I thought was really cool, but it's that minty color that I've been using a lot throughout this album. And I've just popped it on this torn greeting card. So that's from the same greeting card pack I've been using. And I actually took the fold of the card and used it to make this little flip. Um, so I already had that crease in it, which was perfect. And that just flips up and reveals our teeny tiny tree and our little pile of presents after Santa has been. So you can see the little plate of eaten cookies and drunk milk. So he has been and left all presents. Um, another gold sticker here. This is really simple. Another torn um, greeting card just for like the base of the tree to sit on. <laughs> it doesn't cover up anything important. It was just tiles on the bottom of my coffee table. Um, but I've just put a bit of scrap paper up here and I've also echoed that star by just popping in a little star and the same gold glitter just on top of my Christmas tree because it was too little to support a star. And um, behind there is actually like the stem of my corner lamp, which is black and it was just kind of a bit ugly. So I've just stuck that right over the top. Really love how that turned out. And because this is all one piece on the back, it looks fine from the back as well. So this side is just a, uh, a title page really. So I've done a bunch of strips of washi and leftover strips of pattern paper that I really wanted to use up. I did a border punch on this one. This is the card that my son actually got on his main present from Santa. So a tag rather, not card. So I've kept that and popped that in. Just stapled some gold embroidery thread to the top. Some more clear gold stickers here and this is all hand lettered and just outlined and some strips of this uh, pink and mint washi just to kind of yeah, add a bit extra. And then on to Christmas Day. So this page is really simple. I've added some more of that pom-pom trim. Another one of those greeting cards. They came so much in handy. I use them so much. Um, but it has Santa and Merry Christmas from me to you. And it's them with their presents. So I thought that was perfect. I use this candy cane paper. I've added quite a bit of little fuzzy cat presents. That's a uh, clear sticker on some white paper. Some more of these stickers. Just trying to use up what I have left. Some more little bow washi here. You can see it peeking out. I've added some little snowmen here too. Yeah, just a sweet page of them with their, their presents. And then this is the very last page. I am really pleased with this. It's quite simple, but again, I was really happy with how it turned out. Kind of a subdued color scheme. I've used up the very last of that Christmas tree trim here. This is um, my son and my husband and my Nana and me. Um, not too much of Violet. She doesn't really like having her photos taken. So um, she's on this page. So I'm pretty happy with that. Um, I've taken some more of this paper that I used for the Christmas tree. So that's the reverse there. 
and that's this paper as well so I've just done a notebook border punch and stuck that so it's hanging off the edge so you have some more of that like tactile texture um, the very last scrap I had of this mint paper added some silver stickers this time because the foil I've used over this side is silver so I've done some light strings and some little stars and snowflakes here that page is very simple and this page i've created a little flip so i had these left from my uh, advent calendar that i've been saving ever since so it's been a couple of years but i really wanted to use some of them on this page so i've used the number and this one says joy to the world this one says at christmas all roads lead to home which was perfect we were at home uh, with my family my favorite people so i've just taken this piece of paper and scored a line and made a little flip and then i stuck these on there I've got they've got some distress and it gives you a little handle to open the flip with and this is the inside so very last bit of trim that I had I've added some more of those squares to the back just to make it look nice from the inside as well um, all my journaling is printed out on strips because I wanted it to tuck behind this part so I just used my pencil traced a line and glued it all down and then erased the line so I love that there's kind of like a little oh hello journaling um, I put some of those silver stickers there too it's hard to see on the pattern but when the light hits them you can see them so lots of sparkle I really like that and then I just put this on the back because I had a blank white page um, one of the I think this was the last journaling card I had left from that cut apart sheet it's got some gold foil it just says Merry Christmas to you and I've just added some tiny word stickers, one last bit of scrap paper and another sketchy border. So yeah, and then I've left this blank. There is that. I'm not sure what that's from, but I'm not too worried. Back cover of that one. And then again, this is blank because yeah, I just don't think you will be looking at the back so much. I really like to decorate my front covers, but it's already really chunky. I'm just gonna leave the back alone. Um, these pockets are a bit harder to decorate anyway so that is my December daily album I apologize that this video went so long I know it's going to be long even after I edit it but um yeah I'm really I'm really pleased with this there's so many wonderful memories in here I had so much fun making it it's such a fun project to do and it makes me smile every time I flip through it so um and the feeling of having finished is a really great feeling so I, I really love that this is something my kids can pull out and have a look at every year and sort of go through and remember all the lovely memories from especially at this time in their lives when they're they're very young so my son isn't going to remember all these things so that's really important to me preserving all those memories for my kids so that is everything from me i will wrap this up now thank you so much for joining me please stay tuned for this year's uh, project i will be doing a traveler's notebook again slightly different format but another experiment so hopefully it works out but i am going to have a lot of fun doing it and i really hope you guys enjoy joining me for that as well thank you for watching I'll see you next time. Bye guys. Until later in the year, just because. And I love the fact that this. And then I just have. I want a cuddle. And I have a cuddle. One, two. Quiet. I'm filming, I just said. Can't you hear? Uh, okay, so I. I from one, one, blah, 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 blah. Are you going? Oh, oh come on, you're heavy. Yeah, I am heavy. Really heavy now. See, you were so strong. The Christmas tree. Stop. Can you please keep still? And this, get your hands out. So I've just kept those as memorabilia. Get off in this today. He's, yeah. Like a All right, mate. Hold on. Like I will probably. Go, <laughs> well, it goes. I'll probably go through and like more. I know you do. I'm not always on Christmas, but around Christmas, try it. Drive me nuts.